Right now we're walking to the Sather Gate, the main entrance for UC Berkeley. This is where our adventure begins. Oh wow, this looks like a mini town in here. UC Berkeley is probably known for its academics. That's why we're now heading into the main library called the Doe Library. They often say that library though. Inside of this library is the biggest reading room I have ever seen in any campus crawl we've visited so far. So now we're walking in the Doe Library. This is the main library for UC Berkeley students. Having just visited UCLA, I noticed a big shift in the student culture here at UC Berkeley. From balanced lifestyles to hardcore study culture. It's only the beginning of semester, but we could hardly find a spot in the library. Coming out of the Doe Library, we can find the Memorial Glade. This is where a lot of students just chill, but right now it's under construction. But usually, it's really green grass, and it's a nice picnic area, study area, reading area, you name it. So I met a new friend, Anna. Hi, I'm Anna Damien. This campus is really beautiful. Honestly, when I first came to this campus, I was shocked. Like I felt smarter just walking on campus. <laughs> oh, this seal right here, I'm gonna show you guys. This seal right here, you guys cannot step on it. Do not step on it. Why? Basically, if you step on it, that means you're not gonna get a 4.0. No! So, this is probably triggering a lot of UC Berkeley students right now. Oh my god, there we go. The main reason why you don't get 4.0 is because you don't study, so I'm gonna study here. Well, I'm studying. This is literally triggering everyone that's walking past. Another study habit that you should incorporate into your life is sleeping. So, you know, you should sleep more to get a 4.0. Another thing you should do if you want good grades is exercise regularly. So, that's what you should do instead of worrying about stepping on this seal. Right now we're in sprawl. As you can see, there's everyone walking around me. The whole school is crowding around me right now because it's actually club day. This is where all the clubs are coming out, showing you what they're all about and trying to get you to sign up. And that's a pretty cool part about UC Berkeley because there's so many different clubs you can join. There's one called the Hyperloop Club, the underground tunnel with Elon Musk. How cool is that? And uh, look at this. Okay, because UC Berkeley is located in San Francisco, home of tech, you got all these inventions all over the place. For example, this is a robot that delivers food to you. How cool is that? Because UC Berkeley is so compact, it feels like there's a lot of people and it's very crowded. Let's keep going and I'll show you one of the coolest hangout spots on UC Berkeley campus. This is Ananya and she's gonna take me to the coolest building at UC Berkeley, the Campanile. Let's go up the elevator. Oh, yo, this looks so good. Oh man, you get to see everything. There's nothing blocking this Campanile. We're almost like in the clouds. We're the same level as the clouds. It's 307 feet, and there's a huge bell here. Whoa! It rings every hour, but real people actually play as an instrument like three times a day. How cool is that? So this is Berkeley right here, and all the way into the distance is San Francisco, home of all the tech startups. All right, so right now we're in the student union part of UC Berkeley. All around me are activity centers. So this one's called the Martin Luther King Jr. Student Center. It has a cafe and the UC Berkeley merch store. Over here is the Eshelman Building, which has a lot of dance studios and study spaces. And right here is Zellerbach Hall. This is home to the auditorium and a lot of performances are held here. The thing about this space is that it houses a lot of activities. So at night, like usually around 10 p.m., the dance club comes here to practice. So, you know, you can get groovy if you want. 
we were just randomly walking on campus and we found turkeys. I think we know what we're eating for dinner tonight. <laughs> come on, come on, let's go. You find a lot of crazy things on Berkeley campus. Crazy people and turkeys. Now we're gonna visit one of the nicest buildings on UC Berkeley campus, the Chu Hall. This is a part of the Haas Business School and it's where most of the business classes are. My favorite. I actually study marketing, so this is my home. There's an interesting thing about Berkeley is that there's only handles on one side of the door. It's because before there were protests where students locked both handles so teachers couldn't get out. Now they only have one handle so that won't ever happen again. That's pretty cool. Learn from your mistakes. Now we're inside. It's actually really nice. There's a bunch of study area, desks, couches, and we're about to go into one of the nicest classrooms I've ever seen on any campus. Haas is on the newer side, so it looks nicer. Classroom sizes usually range from like 40 people or there's big lecture halls with like 200 people. As you can see, this classroom is equipped with all the learning essentials. And the best part is, they have a microphone for answering questions so people at the back can hear you. I would love to study here. It's just so new and it feels nice being in this environment. I can take in a lot of information. But where do UC Berkeley students hang out when they're not in class? Let's go find out. California Memorial Stadium. Go Bears! Woo! Help me! Help! So UC Berkeley actually has a lot of places where you can chill and lie around, but it also has a nice school culture, right? Yeah, definitely. There's a bunch of interesting places with a lot of tradition, and I think you can see behind us, there is the 4.0 ball. If you touch it, you might get a 4.0. We stepped on the seal earlier, now we're gonna touch the 4.0 ball. Does that mean our grades just cancel out? So as we walk down the roads of UC Berkeley, we can see UC Berkeley really likes to study because they have 10 libraries. There is a Bancroft Library, and behind me is the Asian Library, and I think somewhere over there is the Engineering Library. 10 libraries just for one little campus. That's insane. So uh, right now we're actually walking towards the best cafeteria on campus, right? Yeah, technically. It is for students who are usually international, but it's really good. But this is the best part of this campus tour. Right beside me here are the frat houses. They're, it's actually rush week right now, so they're just chilling outside. It's a, having the best time of their lives. And if you actually want to apply to UC Berkeley or any of the UC schools, you got to check out today's sponsor, Bullseye. This is a college lifestyle right here. Sitting on couches with people jumping off the balcony. That's what I imagine. <laughs> Right? <laughs> but if you are actually thinking of applying to UC Berkeley or any of the UC schools, just letting you know your application is due soon on November 30th. You need to complete the UC apps with four essays. So if you want to increase your chances of getting into these schools, you've got to check out today's sponsor. Bullseye. So they're a new web app that helps you organize all of your college applications, but the most important part is they can connect you with advisors who are recent graduates from top schools like UC Berkeley, UCLA, MIT, Stanford. So today we actually got a really special offer. If you're applying to college soon, click the link in the description, joinbullseye.com slash free session to claim your first free 20 minute session with an advisor. You can ask them for some advice, how to frame yourself in your essays, things like that. They will help you get into these schools for free. So click the link in the description, joinbullseye.com slash free session to claim your first free 20 minute session with an advisor. And hopefully this can become your new life. Yeah, now we're gonna keep going to the cafeteria. I'm so hungry, dude. That's a lot of walking. The food here is so good. Literally, the cafeteria has everything. They got like... Ice cream. 
Look at that. Yeah, they got ice cream, they got, they got yogurt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Salad. They got healthy options too. That's really important for me. They got kombucha on tap. How cool is that? And then they got some steak and chicken over here. Let's get that protein in. If you enjoyed this video, you can click here to subscribe and watch other campus crawls right here and right here. My name is Hafu Guo and I'll see you next time. Peace. And because uh, UC Berkeley is open to anyone, there's a lot of weird figures just walking around randomly.